Welcome back guys to Grandia, where last episode, after defeating the boss of the Lek Mines monsters, we found him to be a load-bearing one as we rushed to make our escape, with Java coming in to make the rescue as we used the minecart system to beat the collapse. With a steamer pass obtained, Justin took Java's advice and then told Sue he wasn't going with him, causing strife between the duo, as Justin woke up early the next day to make his trip, doing one last sweep of palm and reading a letter from his mother before boarding the ship and setting sail. Now of a ship to explore, we head to find our room. Oh wow, <laughs> bit of a difference. Boy, it's a steam of fun. If you have any trouble, just come round to me. I've had no trouble at all. Nothing but fun. Nothing but fun. Oh, you lost. The ship is so big, it's hard to get used to it. Cameras are downstairs, the deck and lounge around the corner. I'll go to the new world of business. I've never been to the new world. It's pretty exciting. I wonder what kind of town New Palm is. New world is a land of adventure awaiting us. New Palm is its entrance. I'm sure it'll be a fun town. How are you there? You can't be wandering around here. Go back to your mama. M mama? Excuse me, but I'm traveling alone. I'm an adventurer too. Ah, oh, don't be ridiculous. A little boy like you ought to be with your mama. You tease me. I really should be on my own without my mama, but I'm so worried I can't sleep. So you don't get any sleep at all? How can you be a sailor? No, no, of course. Sleep just fine every night. Mama always travels with me. Okay. Hey, boy, don't be wandering around so much. You bother the others. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I've never been on steamer before. They think so new. I was like that before. So I know what you mean, but you're not the only one on the ship. I'm glad you're spirited, but still, you run around too much and you fall off the ship. In the indoors. Oh my, oh my. You shouldn't be around here. Boy, where's your mama? Hey, hey just a second, ma'am. I'm an adventurer. Don't treat me as a child. I see you're playing adventurer, but just don't get outside of your mama. I see you're playing adventurer, but just don't get outside of your mama. Oh, I'm sorry, my mama. I'm just so mean. Wow. The ship's big. The steam engine on the ship has the highest horsepower of any engine in the world. Cool, will you let me look around? I don't mind, but it's dangerous, so don't go touching anything. Don't want you to get burned. I mean, I'd be more worried about the uh, the crunching. Crunchifying. Hey, must be a passenger. Come down here and you'll never get the stench of oil out. I'm not the kind of passenger you'd worry about that. Don't fall into it. Those are some gears that will grind you. I found the crew quarters. Mr. Passenger, this is the crew's quarters. Please return to your cabin. If you're bored, why don't you visit the lounge or go up on the deck? Boy, don't be wandering around the ship. The deck and the engine room are particularly dangerous. It's very boys like you keep falling into the sea and getting caught in the gears. Really? The steamer does have scary places. See, I said. Uh, actually, we're here to make sure passengers don't fall into the sea or get caught in the gears. Oh, you really had me going there. Oops. We've got lots of interesting passengers on this voyage. Won't get bored on this voyage. Female reporter, gambler, pirate, mama's boy, and a girl with chummy freckles and a huge ribbon. And even you, a boy traveling alone. Charming freckles, eh? Well, I guess I'll go where I'm supposed to go. I'll do what the game wants me to do. Oh my goodness. That's a shop. 126, 127, 128. Just how many rats are there? I'm so bored on this ship. Nothing to do but count the rats in the room. Really? There are lots of interesting things around the ship. 128 rats? 247, 248, just how many rats? So you must really be bored. Also, if there's that many rats, how are we not just stepping on rats? I'm a man charmed by the new world. I've been to the new world 10 times. He's just counting one rat 248 times, right? I know what you mean. I've been wanting to go to the new world for so long. I finally made it this far. No, my boyfriend. I'm sure he'll give me a big hug when he sees me. Makes you look pretty happy. Something nice happened. He's been back from the new world, so I'm going to the new world. A girl in love has no fear. Say this is sure cool. I'd like to sail the seven seas, hunting for treasure and finding pirates. I ain't being a sailor in bad, but if you think about it, an adventurer can do that too. Hey, you're right. Hmm. I'm going to be an ocean adventurer. Miss, you don't look so good. Are you okay? Maybe you're seasick? The ship stopped. Uh, oh, my chest aches and my head is spinning. Could this be love? Take my chest. Ah, oh, this is love. Something has come. <laughs> hey, hey, miss, I said you're seasick. Don't puke on me. La, 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 la. Say, what you doing? Oh, I'm practicing my singing. I want to become a singer in New Palm. I can't wait to get to New Palm. I know, I'll turn the beat of my heart into a song for you. 
Ah, family fump goes my heart. The new land of New Palm awaits me with its charm. Miss, you not sing for me. I'm a traveling salesman. I do business wherever I am. If you want to buy something, go touch one of the items. Sell something. Talk to me. I guess I don't want to necessarily sell stuff. But I could. As well. I'll sell the spirit stone. I can sell the grenade. Ooh. Well, I can buy that sword now. There's knives. Hand dart still there. I mean, I'm using the metal bat at the current, though, so I don't necessarily need that. You just don't know when you'll find something that'll be just as good for you. Nothing's an upgrade. Eh. Right, where's my room? I haven't actually figured out where I'm going yet. How are you going to the new world? I'm coming home. I miss the town of New Palm. So, you're from New Palm? Well, tell me, what kind of place is New Palm? Oh, certainly. The sun shines all the time on cheerful adventurers. At the dinner theatre, the adventurers eat dinner while watching beautiful dancing girls and telling stories. At the dinner theatre, they do that exactly thing, same thing again. Great. Oh, well, it's nice to know. Uh, but I'm looking for the way to actually go. Oh, the ship's doctor. Take care of everyone on the ship. The captain's so stingy. He won't hire a nurse. He thinks women shouldn't work on ships. I've heard that before. Isn't that one of the rules of the sea? Rules fooey. If we had a nurse, I might just be able to save more lives. The captain is really stubborn. But why does the nurse have to be so beautiful? Hmm. Because that's what I like. No ulterior motives there. Well, I've walked around. I've talked to a lot of people. I still haven't figured out exactly where I'm going. A bit worried about the smashing noises, though. Well, I'm a little clueless. Where's my cabin? Do not bring pigs onto the ship, the captain. I can understand pets, but why pigs? Maybe someone might have brought one on before. This is the second class cabin. Wait, this is my room. I'm just supposed to just sit in this room. Oh, it's so witchy. You think this cabin has lice or something? Yikes, lice. I've got to watch out. Oh, no. Well. I will never forget that man. I'll seek him out and make him pay for what he did. Where the hell am I going? This isn't doing very well. Ah, because it's one of those things where you walk around and suddenly something happens. <laughs> huh? Why? Why would Puffy be here? I can't believe it. Could she? Hey, you guys. How many times do you ask the same question? I'm with Justin. So it is Sue. Alright, I'll just walk away. <laughs> Where are you going, Justin? Oh, I'll run away now. Who knows what to say later? Oh, silly. If you're going to stow away, do it so you don't get caught. You don't seem to care at all. Don't be a fool. I don't want to see a girl die either. Oh, Justin. Sue, why'd you have to come? I'm no fun about you around, Justin. I want to go on adventures with you, Justin. And you just can't do anything without me, right, Justin? Just live it, Justin. Ship's already sailed. We can't go back to Palm. We're off on an adventure. You may say so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, so who do I talk to to make sure that you don't die? Oh, I don't really feel like throwing people overboard in a barrel. So then stop them. If someone breaks the rules of the sea, we have no choice. Alright, uh, shall I go to the captain? I was watching the weather. I found a stowaway this small. Say, so, how do you know the sea was a stowaway? When I asked you who were a guardian, what? You jumped up and ran away. Is it the he's made the sea spirits angry and brings storms to watch the sky closely? Oh, is that the legend? But spirits will forgive Sue. She's a smart aleck, but a good kid. There's the captain. You, Justin, you've really given us trouble. Such a wee little girl. 
The punishment for stowaways is being thrown overboard in a barrel. This is the divine rule of the sea. Please forgive her. Sue's just a kid. I'll make sure she never does something like this ever again. No. Breaking the rules of the sea brings the curse of the spirits. Come, pick up the barrel. Toss it into the sea. Yikes, wait a second. Throw such a small kid in the sea in a barrel. It's just too cruel. Please, please spare her. Well, there is one way. Go told me you want to be an adventurer, yes? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be the greatest adventurer in the world. Me too, me too. Hmm. Adventurers are something a, something a kindred to a sailor's. But the spirits may not curse us. All right. You can become sailors on this ship. Huh? If you were passengers, you'd be stowaways. But if you're sailors, then you can't be stowaways. How about it? Will you work on the ship until we reach the new world? So I'll spare the wee one. But I'm a... I've got a pass. Make her work. I've got a pass. She can work. I accept. Well, that sells it. Now on you two are apprentice sailors, understand? I understand. I, I'll i be a sailor as long as I'm with Justin. Good. Take him to the sailors' quarters. Aye, aye, Captain. You two get plenty of rest. Done tomorrow. You'll work hard. Just gonna point out, the sailors' quarters looked like it did have significantly less rats. Did... Justin! Good morning, Justin. How'd you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep very well. That teeth grinding and snoring kept me up. I'm still sleepy too. The bed was stinky and damp. It made me sick and... Cut it out, newbies. Can't sleep all day. Get up and get working. Well, let's go. It's close, newbies. I haven't done how you were passengers. From now on, you're apprentice sailors. Don't forget that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You two are in charge of swimming the deck. You'll get instructions on deck. Now, I'll give this to you. Key to court is received. Remember to provide service if a passenger asks you to do so. Understood? No good? Now go on deck. So this guy. So you are the stowaways. Just, just don't get in the way. We won't get in anyone's way. Buff, buff. <laughs> newbies are always getting in the way. It's the same with me. And newbies, aren't you the stowaways? Don't you know that angers the sea spirits? Don't worry, even the spirits can't get angry at a beautiful lady like me. But I'm not a stowaway. Now I've become an apprentice sailor. You newbies wouldn't know it, but remember that anger of the sea spirits will give you no end of trouble. See you guys. Now on you two stay in this room. After work, come back here. Now off to the deck. Yes, sir. Oh. You give me a save game prompt. Can I call you mummy then? You can be my sailor mummy. Okay then. See that terribly naive sailor over there? Actually, he's my darling son. Of the sailors on the ship, my son is especially delicate and bashful, so I always have to protect him. Alright, let's buy you a new weapon. Before we do anything. <laughs> Shirking my duties, not caring about work. So I'm assuming you can use the hand up. Can you use a knife? A knife is for a completely different character. On you. You can't use a hand dart. I mean, Justin can use hand darts. Oh. I need a ranged weapon. Stat. Hey, Justin, you became a sailor. That's so neat. Tell me how you did it. It was because I was a stowaway. It was my fault. <laughs> that's it. That's the way to do it. All right, I'll be a stowaway next time. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. All right, I'm wondering. I'll stash a banana. And a grenade. And an axe. And another axe. And these gloves and the boots. I'll keep the sword. Do I need to carry that with me? Probably not. But we look okay. We look fine. But if I go into the get item stash, I might still have the toy bow, which is only five attack. But it is a ranged weapon. So 
So we'll lower our actual attack considerably. But it will work towards her having a new skill. It's basically what she needs to do. To level 10, by the look of things. Well, off we go. Let's work. So you can't use hand darts, you're lying. I'm being told by my wife that I'm being a tit, that Sue can use hand darts. I'm not a tit, you're a tit. Oh, I can move the box. Do I need to move that somewhere? I gotta swap the deck. Yeah, Sue can definitely use it. I'm just a tit. <laughs> but does it count as the ranged weapon category? I'm assuming it does. She called me a tit first. Right, what deck do you want me to swab? Hey, isn't it great? You didn't get the barrel! I thought I was a goner! But buffed! The sea spirits aren't so mean. Spirit is, to get angry at this. Oh, the opponent is just in the soup. Coming and work without being cool. You two certainly have promise. I bet you already know, but newbies always start by swabbing the deck. Ready? I'm gonna have you wax every nook and cranny of the entire deck. When you're ready, come to me. Let me do it! So you've got a good waxing as a balance of power and speed. To get started, press A. Then press A to raise the power and increase the waxing speed. But if the power goes over the maximum, you'll get tired. So be careful not to keep the button down. Release A to decrease the power. A good rhythm with the button will keep the power near max. The key is to pace yourself. You'll get a nice reward, so don't slack off. Are you two ready? We'll start now. Do you know how to do it? I already know that, so let's start. <laughs> uh, why am I not going anywhere? It took a while to get started there. It took a while to get started there. Mini games! Look at me, I'm swabbing your deck. I'm a sealer now. I think I'm winning. Why is. Puff, puff. Pulling away! That's not helping anyone! Oh, I've got a beat her doing one line! That's kind of mean. Justin! 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 Just help her around do the last bit, for goodness sake! Just help her do the last bit! Oh, well, okay. I got one. Are we, are we done? There we go. <laughs> Boy, you guys did a pretty good job for newbies. No problem. Clean job like this, piece of cake for an adventure. Justin, so adventures are good at cleaning? Sure, adventures are good at anything. Great, you can do it again tomorrow. Here's 25 G for some pocket money for doing such a good job. You finish your late. Go back to your cause and get some rest. Wait, I'm done? Wow, easy life. Who gets finished today? Go back to your quarters and rest. So do you want to swap some more? No, 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 no. I have to swab more than I have to swab. Successfully swabbed. Ah, oh, where's Captain? Ah. Sue here. Look, at Sue, look here. Speaking of here, and you can talk to anyone on the ship. Pretty neat system. Puff, 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 puff. Puffy seems to think there's something inside there. Oh. Oh, Puffy, there's nothing to eat or play with in here. Nothing in here at all. Maybe there is. Maybe Puffy knows more than we think. Justin, if you come a full-fledged daily, you might get to be a lookout like me. More fun than swimming the decks. 
Not exactly fun, but it is more of a responsible job. Storms and icebergs aren't the only dangers to see. We might get attacked by Lily the Skull or other pirates. I think she moved somewhere else quite a while ago, though. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Just as Sue, you're a pretty sailor now, so you must learn the rules of the sea. Right, Justin keeps on failing at things, so he needs to pay attention. Oh, no, I know. I just fell a little, but I don't want to be even thrown overboard in a barrel. No stowaways. Don't pollute the sea. Don't spill blood in fights. Just follow these three rules and work out, that's all. Yeah, I'm glad. Honestly, I'm glad we didn't have to give her the barrel. Ah, oh, you were so right. I'm so relieved. Gosh, you thought I was a goner. I bet you did. But now that you're sailors, you must work hard. Since you're sailors, you become one of us. We're going to work you to the bone. Please be gentle. Just literally swap one section of a deck. Go to sleep. That's pretty nice. Hey, Mr. Justin. And you made apprentice sailor. Oh, you make full-fledged sailor. Ah, so you'll be my own swarm brother. Wow, I'll work you hard to get ready. I'll make you able to repair any crane anywhere in the world. <laughs> well, those people in the world certainly must be good at handling cranes. Sure. I'm brilliant at cranes. I've won something from a crane game, so it works. <laughs> yeah, you have to do this 29 more times to pass a full month at sea, yeah. Oh, they're open. You, the porter. The bathtub in this cabin is filthy. Be so good as to clean it. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Oh, I'm so glad. I just die if my room isn't spotless. I do like things tidy, but dying is a bit much. Guess I've got to clean it. Ah, oh, what does she mean filthy? Let's clean to me. That's odd. Could she mean that tiny smudge? Ah, oh, just a little smudge. Oh, well, guess I've got to clean it. Okay, that does it. Thank you for cleaning the bathtub. I feel so much better. Good job. Here's only 25G, but please take it. Oh, pocket money. We'll get some more. <laughs> now you're finished cleaning, please leave the cabin, Porter. <laughs> Good help. This is a really nice cabin. This should be a relaxing trip. Wow, it really is incredible. I wonder how much it costs to stay here. And what it costs to stay here. Ten people could stay in second class. Well, it's free for me. <laughs> well, work. My dear husband is just overwrought. Ever since we lost our dear son, he's been just so depressed. Our trip to New Palm now is one way to calm his soul. Sorry to trouble you. My own, my dear, dear. <laughs> what business does some lowly porter have with the likes of me? Don't be blabbering about. P -p Pilarino? You were still alive after all. Oh, you mean me? Not you, the one over there who says Puff Buff. He looks exactly like my late son. P Puff he does. Puff, 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 Puff? Yes, cute round eyes, profile, all exactly love my son, Plurino! Buff, buff, buff! Oh, I think he's happy to look like my son. He's just so cute. <laughs> he just wants the inheritance. Hmm, a son who looks like Buffy. Just what could, uh... It's Pilarino. Gold toilets and gold baths actually do look like they're covered in mess. Hey, hey you, the girl with the ribbon. What's your name? I'm Sue, and this is Puffy. Pleased to meet you. Puff, buff! So you're Sue, is that so? Sue, you say? Ah, oh, you're strange. That's why I came to him. So there, Apprentice Island. Do I have too many freckles on my face? Not at all. Liar! Tell you such a fan lies won't make me feel one bit better. Be careful, Justin. A young girl's heart is delicate and fragile like glasswork. I just forget it. I was silly for telling you about my troubles. No, no, no. Like, what's wrong with you having freckles? I don't ever look at someone with freckles and say, like, Oh, she's got loads of freckles. Ugh. It's just like, well, look, you've got character. You look not the same as most of the population, which is probably a better thing. I plan to realise my late husband's dream of running a ranch. I'm seeking my fortune in a new world. The continent of Messina is so full of industry and steam and such. I couldn't dream of a ranch. The new world is such a fright environment for running a ranch. A big gamble in leaving my home. Is there any more jobs for me to do? Puff, 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 puff. I said you to a stowaway. Naughty, naughty. It's all Justin's fault. You tried to ditch me. Even so, you didn't have to stow away. Sue, so I can't keep up with you. I may look nice, but I've done plenty of mischief. I've been in the slammer plenty. But the captain here took me in. I'll never forget my debt to him as long as I live. Oh, what kind of mischief? Did you almost get the barrel yourself? I can push this, but why could I push this? Okay. 
And we can push you back again. Hey, Brennis, how you doing? Listen, you want to become a nice sailor? Learn from me. Oh, I'll become a nice adventurer, though. I pushed a box. Wow, I've counted 1,907 already. I should have counted the rats. Didn't know where there were so many. Wow, that is a problem. I think there are way too many. That'd be unthinkable at the seagull. So, Justin, think this guy might have counted the same rat more than once. There's one more. That makes 2,015 rat squeaks. Rat squeak. Is this guy alright? <laughs> What's he on? That is our question. La 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 la. Price is singing. Run away. She's going to sing to us again. I guess I'll go to bed then. I can't see anything else that might obviously be a job. Steam engine on the ship is the highest horsepower of any engine in the world. Cool, you let me look around. Ah, oh, what? So, actually, a lot of people don't have to change dialogue either. Hmm. It's just trying to work out who does and who doesn't, isn't it? You do all your work today? Great, you look tired though. Get lots of sleep tonight. Ouch! Ow, my body aches all over! You must have just saw Sue. You get used to it. I'll do more than my share of work today. Thank you, Justin. You two, what about work? Do you want to give it a rest today? I guess I'm finished working today. Oh well, you get some rest today. You got some hard work tomorrow. Have I done enough? I don't know. Did I just go to sleep again for no reason? Yes, yes I did. I gotta do more work. Oh, today's another day of hard work, so go. Yes, sir, we're off. Ah, that's the spirit. Oh my goodness. How long are we gonna be on this boat? Help! <laughs> we might be here for some time. What's our job today? He didn't send us anywhere specifically. Well, looks like another busy day. Are you two ready? We'll start now. Do you know how to do it? I know. Seems that Justin just doesn't get started for the start, which was very confusing. Well, let's, uh... Let's mob the deck. This is our life now. This is the game. This is when young kids make bad life choices. <laughs> I want to be an adventurer! I'm gonna go see the world! I'm gonna stow away on it! Oh. And so they were in... Sailor servitude for the end of their days. Such is the end. I'll teach them. I don't think I can. I can't even think I can. Oh, I can leave. There we go. Hey, pretty good job there. Let's wait by the time we arrive. You guys will be pros at cleaning. Ah, even though we're apprentices, do we have to clean all the time? Give us a more important job. Ah, oh, keep something I'll think about. It's 25G for a good job. You finished today? Back to your course. Really? <laughs> Captain, I'll demand a better job. How oh, can I steer the ship? Oh. Good, the lens is squeaky clean, so the light will shine far. Say, what do they use that huge light for? Don't you know even that? For signals. Sailors and adventurers use lights to signal each other. Well, I guess we'll be on board soon, so we have to signal to send a boat. A guest? In the middle of the ocean? Of course, don't look surprised. Our guest is the greatest adventurer in New Palm. An adventurer? There are a few desert islands in these parts. Our guest has been searching for old treasure there. We're getting ready for the guest starting early in the morning tomorrow, so don't sleep late. Cool, the greatest adventurer in New Palm. Ooh. Hey Sue, what do you think that greatest adventure in New Palm is like? He might be a giant man with shaggy beard and bulging muscles. 
yeah, yeah, he's gonna have about five arms. Uh, oh, she's half asleep. I wonder what I'll learn in the Adventure Society. How to disarm traps, tips for fighting monsters. Rats can't get sleep tonight. Okay. Hey, Justin, get up or you get chewed out. Hey, Justin. Oh, just a little more. Let me just count to ten. Don't give me that. Didn't they say not to sleep late because the adventure is coming? What are you doing, Sue? Get going or I'll leave you behind. Oh, I was waiting for you. An adventure is coming. Y yeah, maybe like this. Uh, he's practicing high fives. That guy, what's he doing? That's silly. He looks like a fool. Hey there, what are you doing? Well, this is the greeting of cool sailors and adventurers. you got to learn it to be full-fledged. You don't say. I've got a master it too. Oh no, you scoop your hand up like this. L like this? Ah, oh, cool. Oh, brother, now you look like a fool. Yes, hey, you're pretty good at it. If you can do this high five, everyone will see you as full fledged. This is the most important greeting among sailors and adventurers. You'll see. You guys have promised, but you don't have the scoop quite right. Practice now while you can. See that? Oh, you're telling me about your son again. Well, I don't care. I'm going to find this adventurer. Out of the way! What's going on? You guys are too late. Look, the greatest adventure in New Palm is over there. You want to go say hello? Where? You mean behind here? Ah, treasures! This is the treasure you brought back? Incredible! You sure are a first rate adventurer. <laughs> I'm home. You all haven't changed a bit. Go there! Welcome home, Fina. Boy, I missed you. How you been? <laughs> I'm doing great. And the treasure, as you can see, it's just perfect. Fina! You've outdone yourself again. I'm so happy to see your smiling face. Long time no see, Captain. You look well, too. Fina, I thought I'd never see the golden legacy of the legendary pirate Warren with my own two eyes. <laughs> Isn't it great? To tell the truth, I had a bit of trouble. It was one trap after another. Whoever set them sure had a bad attitude. They might catch some bumbling adventurer, but they can't catch me. At the very end, though, I thought I was done for when I had these giant boulders on my tail, but I quickly found a cave in the side. Whoa, whoa, in. hang on. Let's not waste a good story. Let's go sit down. You can take your time and tell me about your adventure down below. I'll have the men carry your treasure. Okay, Captain. Can you guys take care of this stuff? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. I'll catch up with you later. Huh? Who are you two? Never seen you before. I'm um, well, I'm just. Wow, a girl! The greatest adventure in the new world is a girl! That's so cool, and she's pretty too! Right, Justin? Thank you. Captain, will you introduce us? Of course, Fina. These are the pretty sailors, Justin and Sue here. Hmm. My name is Fina. Pleased to meet you. Say, so, Justin, let's give her the high five greeting. That's right, we just practiced it. I'm Justin. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> then you know, that greeting is only for when you're full fledged. Okay, for now, we shake hands. Let's save the high five for when you're full fledged sailor. Come, let's go, Fina. Don't be slacking off, eh, Justin? You two, good luck on your ship work. Well, shall we go, Cam? Ah, oh, she treat me like a kid. But she's so cool. I like to be like her. The greatest adventure in the new world. She was pretty cute. Oh, no fun at all. Cleaning again today. Don't give me that. 
Better than being tossed out of board now. It's your fault. Hey, it's already clean. Who cleaned the decks for us? Hey, you two. It's about time. You'll never be a full-fledged sailor if you can't get up on time. Good morning, Justin and Sue. Looks like a hot one today. Ah, you remembered our names. I'm shocked. A first-rate adventurer needs an excellent memory. Or I'd like to say so. I heard about you from the captain, so I thought I'd talk to you. I thought I'd talk to you while swapping the deck, but you took so long to get here. At this rate, you've got a long way to go to be a full-fledged sailor. Jeez, you're pretty tough. But I'm an adventurer, so that's okay with me. An adventurer? Hang on there. The captain said you were an apprentice sailor. That's just my disguise. I've got a good cover story. You know, Sue just, uh... No, I'll tell her. The problem was that Justin here was trying to ditch me. To ditch you? Now listen, Fina. Justin here is so terrible. And that's it. Hey, I'm a great adventurer, right? Right? See, that was all Justin's fault, right? <laughs> I can see these two are really good friends. <laughs> you two are just too funny. I haven't learned like this in ages. Say, Fina, tell us something about you. No fair just talking about us. Mm, you're right. So what would you like to know? Ooh. Tell us about your adventures. Uh, it's hard to say in just a few words. Well, we've got plenty of time before we get to New Palm, so I'll tell you a little each day. That means we'll be swapping the decks for a while, too. Ah, oh, pretty sad it's having rough. <laughs> You'll be okay. I'll help, too. It'll be fun if we all do it. Yeah, thank you, Fina. How do I start exploring the new world? So, Justin, you want to be the greatest adventurer in the world? I'm going to the Adventurer Society in New Palm. Fina, you member, too. Um, well, of course I'm a member. Great, I'll become a member too. I'll be an even better adventurer. I guess so. I'll go with you on your adventure. That sounds like fun. Do you live in New Palm? Where do I live? I do live near New Palm. I live alone. It's a carefree life. Alone? You're tough, Fina. Don't you get lonely? Both my parents died long ago. I used to live with my big sister, but not anymore. Wow, living alone in the new world. Fina, that's so cool. I don't like that wind. And suddenly, the seagulls... I'm going to see the captain. Justin and Sue, you ought to return to your quarters. See ya. She was laughing so happily and suddenly she's so serious. What's wrong? Say, so look, Justin. Suddenly, there are no seagulls at all. You're right. I think something interesting is going to happen. Let's go check it out, Sue. <gasps> What's going on? Wow, you guys were talking with Fina, right? I'm so jealous. Hey, this isn't the time you're talking about that. Don't the clouds look odd? Oh, you're right. That made you noticed. Now, Fina's a mighty fine girl. I really look up to her. You ought to be fans, too. Oh, I'm just as fine as her. You, uh, don't give me that. If you want to compete, then first get better at your ship work. Captain, a gale's come up and the sea's rough. Strange clouds are approaching too. This is trouble. I'll assemble the men. But not only that, I have a bad premonition. Fina, just what's happening? Is something wrong? Nothing to worry about. Justin and Sue, go back to your quarters and rest. Justin, let's go back to our quarters. Looks like some big trouble. Captain, we have to change course by as much as we can. Quickly, assemble the men. But Fina, that bad premonition of yours. Could it be the legendary ghost ship? Not that ship again. Cut that out. That's just a superstition. A ghost ship? Tell me about it too. Justin, didn't you hear? I told you to go rest in your quarters. No fair. Can't we stay just a little? This is not a child's game of adventurer. Be good and do as I say. Miss Fina! Oh, oh my, oh my gosh! Come on, Dick, run away! Captain, tell the men to make sure they act calm. The passengers will panic. I can't stand it! If this is really the ghost ship, we're doomed! Justin, let's go to our quarters. We can't go now. I can smell a great adventure. Let's go on deck and see. Can't we just look out here? Safer. The music. Wow, 
Wait, Justin. Look at that. Incredible! A real ghost ship! Incredible! Wow, it really has the mood down. I've decided my first great adventure will be on that ghost ship. How hopeless. Is no single real man of the sea on the ship? Hey, that's Fina's voice. Over there! Justin! Fina! What we know for sure right now is, unless we do something about that mystery ship, we won't make it to Alencia alive. This raid involves not only the sailors, but the passengers too. Show them a sailor's grit and guts. Come on, Captain. Instruct your men. Oh no, we're done for. A ghost ship has really appeared. We're all gonna die now. That's just a shipwreck. The ghost ship is just a superstition. Anyway, we have to fix the ship. You see, ever since that ship appeared, our ship can't move. Even with the engine at full speed. Ah, pull yourself together. We've got to work together or we'll all drown. But Fina, what can we do? We're up against a ghost ship. We're just sailors, right? If the ship doesn't move. We can't do anything. Don't act so hopeless. Aren't you men of the sea? I'll solve the mystery of that ship. So who will go with me to board that ship? Isn't there even one brave man? I think you'll find there's one brave man right here. Go away, Fina. We'll go with you. Justin. Now look, you guys. Even these little kids are showing some bravery. Is there no brave man among you who will go with me? I told you. I'll go with you on that ship. I'll bust up any ghost. Ghost? You don't get it. Listen, Justin. If you believe in ghosts, you'll never become an adventurer. Justin and Sue, you just wait on the ship. Ah, well... No fair holding all the adventure. It finally became a real adventure. No fair that you get to do all the fun things alone. Justin, your fingers too simply. Adventure isn't child's play. You could even lose your life. Think like that and the real adventure would be way too dangerous. You don't have enough experience. Well, then if I don't go, who'll go? I finally get to go on something like an adventure. I'm an adventurer too. You know the situation, don't you? There's no proof that you'll be any help at all, Justin. That ship won't let me bring along someone who'll get in the way. My intuition tells me so. I'm worried about you then. I'm worried about you, Fina. How can I let a girl go alone on that dangerous ship? Oh, don't pull that card. That's never going to go well. A girl? How rude. I'm a pro-adventurer. I'm not so clueless that an amateur like you needs to worry about me. I can't stand it. I'll do it myself then. Let's go, Sue. Huh? But... Oh, what do I do? Right across the ghost ship, just as you said, Fina. No time to be fooling around. Okay, okay, Justin, let's go together. But if you get in the way, even a little, promise to come back right away, okay? Alright, of course, just leave it to me. Well, let's stop fooling around and go. Justin, Sue? Let's go. Hey, what are you thinking? You really going to that ship? Are you sane? Be careful, Fina. Sure, I'll be sure to solve the mystery of that ship. Don't forget that I'm coming too. I'm going across to a ghosty ship. It'll be fine. Wow, this is an incredible ship. Looks like a real ghost ship. Are you checking out, Justin? Ghosts are just fantastic stories. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not afraid of a ship like this. But, Justin, how do we get down? How do we get down? We get down like this. Oh, that Justin. Justin, wait! Yeah, this is such a thrill. Don't get too excited, Justin. Who knows what will happen? Sorry, sorry. My adventure's blood is calling. I can't help it. <laughs> oh. I think we can go down from here. I'll go first. You two follow me. I wasn't going down there. Oh, well, now I am. Right, did you even let me check the door? Wow, pitch black. 
can't see a thing. You two, no carelessness. Watch your feet. I could do this in my sleep. First rate adventure. No problem. What's this? It's soft and warm and... Justin, you pervert! Ouch! <sighs> Justin, what do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, it's just your fault stopping suddenly when you're in front. Oh, just forget it. Anyway, let's go. We can't be wasting time. <laughs> Justin, your face is red. Well, we have a ghost ship standing before us. We have a literal broom. <laughs> and ghostly noises. But I think... Yes, you know. It might be the time to end our first session. Right here. Before we... Oh, there's only ten save files and one save thing. That's interesting, though. That was interesting, though, indeed. Right here on the ship. Just... As we finally get our third member of the party. Well, Fina's now here. Level six, so she's ahead of us by a bare bit. And she uses whips and knives, which of course we saw a knife bet there. She's already got several weapon levels and things and fire? What's with that with fire? Is that fire in the middle? I do not know. And she has spells. Our first caster is available to us now. So we get exploring the ghost ship next time on Galandia. Hope you join me then for more. Bye-bye.